know, whenever I read up news like this, I always wonder, are these people cuckoo? Let's have a look. The question here is this. A million dollar HDB flats becoming the norm. With 168 HDB flats that have crossed a million dollars or more in 2022. And this will most likely surpass the record held in 2021 of 200 units, which was already a whopping increase since 2020's 82 units. So let's examine some of the data from these million dollar HDB transactions. The most expensive HDB unit transacted this year was in May 2022 for $1.4 million for City View at Henderson. It was a five room flat, 1,216 square feet in size. The previous record was held by Pinnacle at Duxton set in March of 2022 at around $1.39 million. And I believe that this record will be broken a few more times this year. The central area actually yielded the most number of million dollar HDBs with a majority of them coming from the Pinnacle at Duxton at an average price of around $1.18 million. The second priciest town was Bishan with 25 units of an average of around $1.16 million. So while majority of these million dollar HDBs are for the larger unit types, you'll be surprised to know that 19 four-room units of an average size of 1,008 square feet managed to cross this million dollar milestone. And as you can guess, most of these four-room units came from the Pinnacle at Duxton. However, there are scattered transactions in Dawson, Bishan, Gimor Ling, and Bendermere that have also managed to cross the million dollar zone. Now you may be surprised that even non-central location HDBs have managed to cross into the million dollar zone. In fact, we have two units in Woodlands and three units in Yishun which has crossed into this million dollar zone. So do know these were because they were executive apartments with an average size of 1,959 square feet. Another interesting statistic that may surprise you is that these million dollar flats were not all exclusively on high floors. In fact, there was a good majority of them around the seven to nine floors, which to me represents a mid floor unit. That said, higher floors also correlate to higher prices. The oldest HDB flat that crossed a million dollars was for 28 Marine Crescent. Now it only had 52 years of lease left. It was a five room unit 1,356 square feet and it was sold for a whopping $1.01 million. Psst, do you want to find out what will make your HDB be worth more than a million dollars? Take note of these three factors. So you want to find out how you can sell your HDB for more than a million dollars. Firstly, location is a key factor here. Majority of these $1 million transactions were in the central area. However, if your HDB is not in a central area, you can compensate by having a significantly larger size. Secondly, remaining lease is also a factor as well. A higher lease generally fetches higher prices. The fact of the matter is, majority of HDB buyers are still concerned with the lease decay issue. Thirdly, size also plays a crucial factor here. We have seen how size helps to compensate for a non-central location with places such as Spaceries, Yishun and Woodlands all crossing the $1 million mark. The other supporting factors as well, like Feng Shui, View, Floor Level, Schools, etc. which are not easily computed. However, I wouldn't discount their effects towards price. In short, your chances of selling your HDB for $1 million or higher are if you own a BTO, in a central location, on a high floor, and preferably five room or larger. Now, if you found this useful and you like such interesting real estate content, follow me, like, and share for more.